Atlanta, Georgia is a thriving city for film, TV, and music industries, constantly bringing in celebrities to work on projects, and a lot of them actually live there. Known as the Hollywood of the South, some of your favorite stars own impressive homes in this busy city, and today we're gonna check out who. Atlanta is the capital and most populated city in Georgia, home to more than 6 million people, and one of the largest metropolitan areas in the country. This city is located among the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains and the state of Georgia neighbors Alabama and South Carolina. Besides being the spot where so many productions are made, Atlanta has the world's busiest airport, fun day trips, and a hip nightlife scene to make things exciting. The city is crawling with rap legends, athletes, and more who not only visit but call the place home. Atlanta celebrities are proud of their roots as they should be, and the successful ones were able to upgrade to some amazing million dollar mansions to call home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're counting down 10 celebrities who live in Atlanta, Georgia, some of which you may have seen on this channel before. From the likes of Quavo to T.I. to celebs you may have forgot about, we have a scoop on the jaw-dropping properties they call home. This is a new series and we recently did a video on celebs who live in North Carolina, so if you want to see more like this, be sure to tell me down in the comments which location is next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this list. And the winner is Monique. Impressions based on the novel Push by Sapphire. We'll kick things off with a celebrity that you may have forgotten about, Monique. It's said that the precious star still lives in the city, but her current property is unknown. But we do know about her former rental estate in the city that was once upon a time reported on by TMZ. Back in 2012, the place was up for sale with a price of $3.9 million, and some years prior was also the subject of some drama. The owners of the home at the time Monique was renting sued the Oscar winner for walking out on her lease agreement and failing to pay $370,000 in rent. The star countersued with a lawsuit of her own, saying the house smelled like dog feces and other lovely odors. Anyways, the infamous home boasted 8 bedrooms, 10.5 bathrooms, and sat on 10 acres of land. Looks beautiful if you have a terrible sense of smell. Despite some ongoing battles in her life, last year Monique said she was in a good place and focusing on her health and career. She also had a Showtime special Monique and Friends Live from Atlanta to debut in 2020, which tells us she still calls the city home. Uh, hi. Willow, right? Why? I, I mean, hi. Uh, did you want me to move? Why don't we start with, hi, I'm Buffy. If you are or were a Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan like myself, then you know Allison Hannigan from her major role as Willow in the series, and she is next on our list of Atlanta celebrity residents. The actress and her husband, Alexis Denisov, who funnily enough was also part of the Buffy cast at one point, own a luxury condo in Atlanta's historic meatpacking district. They tried to offload the unit for around $1 million, but in 2018 it was reported the couple instead opted to rent the place out at $6,500 per month. Allison and Alexis bought the 2,500 square foot penthouse around 2014 for 810 k Inside there are three beds, three baths, and dark reddish brown hardwood floors throughout. Other highlights of the couple's condo include 14-foot ceilings, walls of metal trimmed windows, and views of the Atlanta skyline. Hey, AD, Tyler Perry here. Want to take you on a tour of Tyler Perry Studios, so hop in. Next up is film producer Tyler Perry, who's not only long had massive homes in Atlanta, but also has his huge 330-acre film studio here on the historic grounds of the former Fort McPherson Army Base. He used to live in an ultra-lux Versailles-style mansion he built in 2007 that was one of the largest in all of Atlanta, but he sold it in 2016. This estate had features like a 70,000 gallon infinity edge pool and a private helipad. Not to worry though, as Tyler is building a new 35,000 square foot mansion in Atlanta as we speak on 1,200 acres of land near his studio, if you can believe it. He is known for extravagant properties, but this is set to be the most impressive yet, with features like an airplane hangar, runway for his private jet, and organic farm with animals. Where you come from, man? Why are all these people in my house? As you can see, T.I. is one rapper who called Atlanta home, so he's next on our list. 
He owns a self-proclaimed bachelor pad in the upscale neighborhood of Buckhead, even though he's not a bachelor at the moment. T.I. also owns a family mansion, which is his primary spot, but this one's in Jonesboro, Georgia, so a 20 minute drive or so from Atlanta. This is the home that's most often featured on his reality television series, The Family Hustle, and it's a massive 10,460 square foot mansion sitting on three acres of lakefront land. You My finally God. made it, baby. I found it. It took me about 30 minutes to walk from the gate. Next, we have another rap star, but this dude lives about 30 minutes from Atlanta in Fayetteville, Georgia. I'm just gonna say that counts. I'm talking about Rick Ross, who bought the former heavyweight champ Evander Holyfield's mansion in 2014. Rick Ross's insane 54,000 square foot mansion takes up a whopping 104 acres of land and boasts more than 100 rooms, including a bowling alley and theater. Not to mention, it also has the biggest pool in the country. It holds 350,000 gallons of water. Of course, it's not cheap to live here, and when Holyfield owned the estate, he claimed the mansion costs him around $1 million per year to operate. How you doing, Julio? What's going on, man? How you doing? Halfway through our list, and next we have an athlete, football player, and wide receiver for the NFL's Atlanta Falcons, Julio Jones. Considering he's been playing for the Falcons since 2011, it makes sense that he owns real estate in Atlanta. In 2018, it was reported that Jones purchased not one, but three different homes in Atlanta within the span of a week. The first of his purchases was a completely renovated four bedroom ranch style house in Atlanta suburb for 532K. And 24 hours later, the athlete bought another renovated house in the Briarmore Manor area for 555k. Both of these houses are thought to be for relatives, but the final property purchase seems to be where Julio currently calls home. He shelled out $2.3 million for a two-story penthouse in a luxurious Atlanta W building, which is the largest unit here, boasting three beds, 3.5 baths, and a 4,154 square feet of space. The building is walking distance from Mercedes-Benz Stadium and has more than enough posh amenities to keep residents happy, including 24-hour valet service, a gym, a heated swimming pool, and even a high-rise helipad. What's up, everybody? It's Quavo. This next rapper has long called Atlanta, Georgia home, just like the rest of his group Migos, and I'm talking about Quavo. He used to rent out an epic mansion in the city that was inspired by the most prestigious castle in France's Loire Valley, and the Atlanta version was dubbed the Castle at Cromwell. While this home was fit for a king, Quavo moved on from it and decided to purchase some homes in and around the Atlanta area instead. In 2019, it was reported that the rapper spent $2.58 million on three properties, the first of which was bought in 2017, an 11,000 square foot home in Alpharetta, which is just a short drive from Atlanta. The property is located in the fancy country club of the South on two acres of land, with six bedrooms and features like a wine cellar, gym, pool with waterfall, and more. Quavo also bought his mother a 560K home for Christmas in Atlanta, and a third home that appears to have been for his sister and other family members. I have a lot of different dresses positioned just because there they are. For number three on our list, it's Mariah Carey, and while she doesn't currently live in Atlanta, she's the former owner of this gorgeous estate in the upscale neighborhood of Buckhead. The sprawling Mediterranean-style mansion spanned 7,100 square feet was super unique and previously cherished by the celebrity. The listing said, Mariah Carey apparently loved her tenure as this property's owner, and we are confident you will as well. Inside, the stucco-clad home had five bedrooms and perks like a screen porch, guest suite, multiple levels to hang out, as well as a pool. And while Mariah's let go of this mansion, she's still been spotted partying in Atlanta since. Almost at the end of this list and the next celeb who calls Atlanta home is another famous rapper, Gucci Mane. His 6,600 square foot mansion is located in Marietta, just a hop, skip and jump from Atlanta. And while there aren't as many details about how the interior of the home looks, Gucci had friends over to celebrate when he was out of prison. Ziggy. Ziggy. Stay tuned. The home seems to have a laid back style with warm fur carpet to complement those cool marble floors. It's valued at close to $9 million and features a full recording studio inside, along with a gigantic pool located in the backyard. So guys, we finally closed. <laughs> 
We finally close on our dream house. Finally, last but not least, we have the rap power couple Cardi B and Offset who settled down in an Atlanta mansion at the end of 2019. Even though their relationship is hard to keep up with, the pair made this big investment together and seems to be staying put. Located on six acres of fully private land, Cardi and Offset's mansion spans over 22,000 square feet with five bedrooms and crazy features like an indoor gun range and 1,800 bottle wine cellar. This estate is in the posh neighborhood of Buckhead and has beautiful landscaping and gardens all over the property. Cardi has also been spotted shopping at the Target on Peachtree Road. Not only this, the couple has bought some more properties in Jonesboro and some land. So it looks like they're staying in Atlanta for good. All right, so that concludes our list of 10 celebrities who live in Atlanta. What did you guys think? Did you know all of these stars called the city or just outside of it home? Be sure to let me know in the comments or if there are any celebs that I missed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.